the installation of even a temporary bridge is no small undertaking. Watch here to see what's involved. An examination of the causeway at first light reveals the bulldozer and a crane on the west end. Other early risers are taking exercise. As day breaks, the crane begins to deploy. The operator and the entire crew have a long day ahead. Installing ballast weights is an essential first step. Quite an audience has assembled across the way. As crane pads are placed, marine traffic is brought to a halt and the push points for the bulldozer are checked and confirmed. The counterweight is increased substantially. A small flurry of activity on the east side perhaps signals the removal of chocks and other restraints before movement. There is significant anticipation before very long, a spreader bar is added to the crane. As the bridge is pushed out across the gap, the crane reaches out to take control of the far end. Once the bridge is under full control, the push can continue. Close communication between the teams on either side is critical. The decision finally to lower is complicated by the unfinished abutment. At the other, east end, tidying up has already begun. With its task fulfilled, Nash's bulldozer is quick to depart. It will make way for the crane, which is busy packing up, ready to relocate. It will move to the east side to address tasks there. Note the projecting panels here and the height of the bridge deck. Work to remove material from the abutment is already underway. When the crane arrives and is set up, it takes the weight of the bridge, allowing work to begin on removing the temporary supports, which will let it descend onto the pedestals. But things are rarely that straightforward. Access to work on and remove heavy components is restricted. But a strong team will always find a solution. As the sun sank ever lower in the sky, it became clear that a quick fix was unlikely. That said, an a 
approach to the bridge next morning looked promising. Closer examination revealed continuing issues. Clearly the disparity in heights between the roadbed at either end has to be addressed. And the west abutment and sill made good. These arrangements can only be a temporary solution. Let's close this update there with a hope for better things ahead. Thanks for watching. Thank you.